Serge, are you looking very festive? It must be Christmas Day! Woohoo! Does it not? Does it not? Thank you for joining us. Oh yeah, we were right. We thought it'd be a jigsaw puzzle today. So yeah, nice one. You got a little train full of hamsters. <laughs> Cheeky little hamsters. We hope you're enjoying your Christmas day. If you're watching this on Christmas day, cool. Which you will be because it's not going to get published till Christmas day. So, mm -hmm. um, But yeah, hope you're having a fun day. And uh, this is quite nice actually for a nice relaxing one. Yeah, nice and relaxing. Now, hamsters are really cool. I like hamsters. They just look like they want to tell you lots of stuff, like lots of stories and things. <laughs> They've got that look about it. I just think it's amazing. So I notice the pieces are a lot smaller on this one than this time, so it's much uh, more I up, Oh, that's because I upped the ante. Oh, right, so you went for a slightly more difficult jigsaw for Christmas Day. Just to wind you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a thumbs up in a 15. Mm. So you're getting bigger scores as well. Just so I could have an excuse to pad this out. <laughs> So what do you think you'll do on Christmas Day then, Jack? You'll be, uh, what's your usual Christmas Day look like? Do you get up early? <laughs> it, mainly my siblings that, 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 wake, that wake me up early. I do like <laughs> They're all excited because they're yeah, younger. Yeah, they're excited too. Yeah. Well, after watching Die Hard on Christmas Eve, which is what I usually do Christmas Eve night, yeah, I usually go to bed late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get up super early. And we do gifts and then take Daft Dog out. And then uh, come back and have some nice sort of brunch. Le brunch, which is like a mixture of lunch and breakfast. To brunch. Yeah, traditional sort of Christmassy day brunch which is usually bacon and, and eggs and things like that because we, we don't normally have bacon eggs very often. Um, yeah, and we don't have our Christmas dinner till really late, over to about six o'clock at night, so. Um, but yeah, and then we just veg out all day, <laughs> mm. which is nice. And if we're really lucky, it'll be nice and frosty, or it'll be snowing on Christmas Day. Let's let's hope we've had snow. Yeah, let's hope. There's nothing more nicer than pulling back curtains and seeing either really hard frost, so it's all white everywhere, or some snow. The worst thing is if you wake up and it's foggy and raining. That's not Christmas, is it? I mean, weather needs to get in tune, doesn't it, with what we want for once. If it's a bit sunny, that's not too bad. But yeah.
It doesn't turn to go anywhere, that one. <laughs> So yeah, I'm doing jigsaw. I usually do all edges first. So I find all flat ones with flat sides, and then I just put all them on, and then uh, work it around from there. Yeah. I might have to dig jigsaw out at Christmas. I looked at Jigsaw the other day on, uh, online. I was thinking about getting a puzzle, but I just have to decide whether I'd actually do it. Because they're quite pricey, you know, puzzles. I thought they might put some Christmas music on the on this one. That would have been really cool. It's had summer a little bit more Christmas I in terms of Yeah, and so it's just kind of... Mm. Yeah, just the same music in the before. Great, I'd say. Get in there. Very relaxing watching
достойно. So apparently the 10 sort of things that people do the most popular Christmas traditions but this is in well this is in USA so yeah if you're watching in USA these are your popular traditions we'll see how many of these are similar to ours so apparently watching a Christmas movie is a tradition on Christmas Day um, if you're in America um, and people seem to like it's wonderful life a miracle on 34th Street, or the Christmas story. I'll be fair, It's Wonderful Life is a brilliant film. I really like that one. Um, I think Home Alone's best Christmas Day film. So, yeah, not sure why that one's not showing there. Um, You're not sure why that's as popular as it is? Wow. <laughs> Some people put the Christmas tree on Christmas Day, what is that about? Come on, you need your Christmas tree for at least a month before Christmas because you just want to enjoy it. It's just got to be fun, hasn't it? Lots of fun and lots of, of stuff. So, yeah. So if you're one of these people that puts it up Christmas Day, I'm not 100% sure what that's about. You only have it for one day then, I don't know. Crazy. But yeah, apparently. Um. Hang the mistletoe. Okay, so people put mistletoe so they can have a snog underneath it. Apparently. Host or join Christmas dinner. So yeah, so you're either one of these people that goes somewhere nice and has somebody else to eat dinner for you, or you maybe help out, or you uh, make your own, which is cool. Oh, gingerbread houses. We were talking about this the other day because these are things that look amazing. Yeah, but no one eats them. Um... Yeah, nobody seems to eat. And then we watched, we and Jack the other day, when James were watching videos of people just smashing gingerbread houses up. And we're like, what was that about? They've got baseball bats. And they'd obviously were after Christmas and they were just like smashing up in the street and stuff and running them over and yeah, which looked quite funny actually. But you just think, wow, that looks really nice house. I'd have liked to have uh, probably eaten that. Right, this hide an elf on the shelf thing. I don't, I've never sort of really understood this until this year. People used to talk about elf on a shelf and I'm like, what? But apparently you hide an elf on a shelf. Um, it became a tradition 15 years ago, roughly. And it derived from a children's story about Santa's elves watching over children and reporting back to Santa about the good and the bad activities of the children observed that day. Wow, a bit sneaky in it, a bit creepy. Put an elf on the shelf to watch your kids, monitor your kids. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now people apparently do that, and uh, I suppose it makes the kids sort of adopt a better attitude during that time so that they get the gifts that they want or whatever. So yeah. Mm. 
The elders are said to have magical powers. Derived from being adopted and loved by a child, however, the kids must follow one simple rule, and that is to not touch the elf, or the elves may lose their magic. And if touched, the elves cannot report the sandwich children's Christmas wishes back to Santa. Alright, so that's an important safety tip there, kids. Don't touch the elf on the shelf. <laughs> if you see one, leave it. Just leave it there. Otherwise, you might mess up all your uh, Christmas wishes. Leave it be. Yeah. Do you have an elf on a shelf at your house? No. No. I bet your mum makes a right nice cake, do not she, for Christmas? <laughs> your mum's really good at baking. Yeah, Jack's mum's good at making Christmas cakes. Well, good at making chocolate cakes, I'll put it that way. Yeah. They're really nice. Oh my goodness, what's that about? Eat fried caterpillars. What people do this? If roast turkey or ham does not seem appetising for Christmas dinner, then how about fried caterpillars? This delicacy can be enjoyed in South Africa at Christmas. The pine tree empire, uh, emperor moth, moth, also known as the Christmas caterpillar, is covered in different colours and is said to give a little extra look in the new year to all those who eat it. Oh my goodness. No matter what Christmas traditions you practice during the holiday season, it is always a fun time. Yeah, you did that one, Jack. Brilliant. Woohoo! I'll, prob I'll probably not knock this back, back down to 30. That's sort of quite a long time. Yeah, this is quite a big picture as well. It's nice. So do you think you would eat a crunchy Christmas caterpillar, Jack? Uh, no. If you didn't have turkey or ammo or whatever going on. Eating a Christmas caterpillar. Wow. It's just natural. It's just wrong. It's not right with it, isn't it? So, yeah. So, Jack Street's second picture of our Christmas Day Advent calendar. Oh, Americans have that pumpkin pie and all, don't they? Oh, yeah, they do. No. I once had pumpkin pie. I don't know if it weren't made very well. But to be fair, I sort of didn't really like it. And I wanted to, but I'm just wondering if the person that made it didn't make it very well. Because it just didn't taste. Yeah, maybe it was just a them problem. Yeah, because I'd heard it were really nice and everybody had said, Oh, pumpkin pie is brilliant, but yeah. It didn't taste that good to me. And hooray! Yeah! Woo! And that concludes our Advent Christmas calendar on the Switch. So as you can see, we did all the days, except for the Chris, the Eve of Christmas Eve, which on the 23rd. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But there doesn't seem to be any, any sort of credit, sadly. No. So that's it. So yeah. Oh. But so. but we can always look look in this virtual fireplace. Wow. So you can put that on your telly, and uh, Granny can sit and watch that. So yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. And also <laughs> put on this little Christmas jukebox. Has that been there all the time, or has it just appeared now? It's been there all the time. Oh, right. Oh, wow. Prony music. Oh, wow. 
so thank you for watching we hope you have had an absolutely amazing christmas and uh, we will see you in the new year we have got lots of things going on our christmas so you might see different things flash up on our youtube channel if you subscribe into us um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this, give us a like and subscribe. If you thought it was a pile of tripe, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> we need to know Cause, these things. Because <laughs> it, it probably was. If you've got any questions about bread cakes, uh, yeah, let us know. Um, but yeah, fantastic. Well done, Jack, for seeing it to the bitter end. Um, yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's celebrate Christmas. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, you filthy animals, and a Happy New Year.